kitchen. Hello everyone, today we are making brioche hamburger buns. I hope you're ready because this is going to be a long one. A good reason to make these hamburger buns is it's kind of simple and they're delicious and we, when we were done with them, because we didn't eat them all right away, we just put them in the freezer and then I decided I wanted Nutella on bread. Just took one out, toasted it, and put Nutella on it and I had Nutella on a hamburger bun, which was perfect. So up here, we asked you to mix the milk and the water in a small pot to make them warm but if your water is actually hot then you can make the milk warm without having to heat it up and then you can continue on with your way that was our mistake we just wanted to warn you thank you please watch to the end i don't know what to say here so i'm just gonna leave you to listen to some nice music and i hope you enjoy yourself see you soon People here always say mix until it looks like breadcrumbs. I don't think the end result looks anywhere near like breadcrumbs. So if you read that in something and it says mix until it looks like breadcrumbs and you start to worry that yours doesn't look like breadcrumbs, it's just crumbly but it doesn't look like breadcrumbs, don't worry, it's probably right. Unless it looks sopping wet, then it's not right. You did something wrong, you should look something up but it's most likely right. That's why you should watch our videos because we tell you the correct information. Please like and subscribe, thank you. This personally is my favorite part because it feels like I am playing with slime and I really like slime because slime is fun, I guess. But it's just also nice feeling the different textures and making it smooth. It takes a little while though. If you look very closely, we didn't do a time lapse because um, our camera would have died, but it literally quadruples in size. It just grows so big. We were doing stuff and then we came back and we were like, wait, why, why is it this big when we left? And it was just massive. You can get so many burger buns out of this. Again, I don't know what to say, so I'm gonna let you listen to some more music. See you soon, again. It's funny because my dad moves the bun right now, but it just grows again when it uh, bakes and it just expands and it touches another bun anyway, so it was unnecessary and it's really funny. Here when you put the egg in the bowl, you can use a whisk or a fork, but my dad just likes to make less mess, I guess, so hey, yeah, that rhymed. You want to brush evenly over your buns so when they come out of the oven they have a nice golden brown almost crispy top it's really pretty set your oven to 400 degrees and let them bake they will be in 
for a little while. Make sure for this part, when you pour the water in, use a pan you don't really care about because our one is now all warped and bubbly at the bottom. Just wanted to let you know you want it to be, um, if you care about the pan a lot, don't use it for this. And now, all nice and golden brown. Beautiful. You're gonna wanna let them cool and then you can make your burger in a little bit. I'll let you see the montage on your own.